There is a healthcare disconnect in this country. Practitioners in the fields of alternative and conventional medicine are often skeptical of one another's methods, leaving patients with the challenge of fashioning their own hybridized healing regime. Ideally, alternative healers and mainstream doctors would cooperate with one another. Unfortunately, this rarely happens. Well, several years ago, I discovered homeopathic healing while attempting to unscramble my own health ailments. During this journey, I became interested in exploring how I might channel the diagnostic insights of homeopathy into music. I've known Andy Milne since about 1990. One of the things that I noticed right away when I started working with Andy when he joined my band was, first of all, his proficiency on the instrument, his ability to be able to look at concepts and extract the basic information out of that so that he can then go on and make music. This current time that we're living in right now is very exciting because there's a lot of work with the psychology of the mind and, and the way the mind works, the inner feelings and things like that. I feel like the music's coming from inside more. I've had opportunities over the years to collaborate with many extraordinary musicians, and those experiences have led me to wonder how I could construct music that would consider and reflect the performer's emotional background. Similar to how Duke Ellington engaged an improviser's musical heritage, this project was composed with an emphasis on creating a soundtrack to support and interact with the improviser's emotional lineage. When Andy explained some of his concepts and ideas to me, I thought, okay, this is something else that's contributing to the same area of bringing this understanding about how the music relates to us, almost like psychologically or biologically or something like that, and then how that can be expressed. For the Seasons of Being, I'm featuring my band, Dap Theory, plus five guest musicians reflecting a diverse cross-section of approaches to improvisation. Drawing on the guidance and the principles of homeopathic healing, I identified specific musical constructs that resonate emotionally for each performer. My challenge and ultimate goal has been to compose in a way that positions each improviser in a setting that supports their emotional characterization. I strongly feel that this is very important work in what we're doing today. And Andy Milne is one of the people who is making a strong contribution to this area. And I think it's very important.